It is cold. We are here at Nashville Golf and Athletic Club today. Just went and got checked in to make sure the greens were not frozen. Thankfully, they are not. The temperatures are going to be low 30s, low, low 30s. Wind chills in the mid 20s. It's a cold one today. Much colder than in the last video. We are out here and we're going to play one golf hole today. Had some requests for a new video and we're going to do a challenge today again. It is going to be the longest hole I've ever played. So that's why we're only playing one hole. It is going to be approximately 2,000 yards, but we're going to play from the back of 2T to 5 green and hole out on hole number 5 here at Nashville Golf. It's going to be tough because the ball's not going to fly very far again today. It rained again yesterday. It is going to be wet, cold, windy. And the wind direction is going to be dead into me the whole way, I think. It looks like it. I was trying to look at a flag back there. It looks like it. We're going to go with that. We just want to make it sound really difficult. Comment below right now, before finishing the video, how many shots this is going to take me. Tee it high. Let it fly. We're making our way over to 2T. No warm-up. No stretching. Just going to tee it up and go from there. As I'm walking up to the tee, I am trying to figure out what the best plan of attack in this challenge is. I'm trying to kind of mentally map out where I want to hit all my shots uh, for the closest route to five green. At least I have wool socks. My toes are warm. I was right. We are going to be playing this entire hole dead into the wind. Wind is directly into us. On this shot, we're gonna be playing down one fairway. So I'm gonna be trying to hit it over these trees that you see directly in front. I can't feel my hands. We're gonna be playing about 2,000 yards, but into this wind, cold, wet. I'm guessing it's actually gonna be playing about 2,600 yards, maybe more. Let's get the cross country challenge underway. I don't think it went very far. I hope my phone participates the entire time so I can get this recorded. My phone has already started to glitch a little bit. Like I said, it's really cold. Hit that one okay. The line was pretty good, but I did catch it a little spinny. So I don't think it went very far. It did go on the line we were looking for. Really not a bad start. Honestly, I would take that every time. We wanted to be on the left side of this fairway. This is one tee box right over there. So we really put ourselves in a great spot. I think we're just gonna cut it right down the middle into the little valley there in between 11 T and nine fairway, and then just kind of see where that leaves us. I don't know if y'all can see, but it is sleeting now. I hope y'all enjoyed this video because it is so cold. Well, our plan wasn't too bad. There is the ball right there. We did hit it towards the valley. However, we did not quite reach the valley. I think our best plan of attack is actually to go with our initial thought on going down 11. It's gonna keep us out of some trouble. I am gonna allow myself to lift clean in place with how wet it is. Even with a little slip, I would take that all day. So far, so good. However, that third swing was actually more difficult than the first two swings. I really can't feel my hands at this point. We're just gonna go off a of feel and hopefully a good game plan. We have thankfully stayed out of trouble up to this point. However, we are not as far down the road as I was hoping through three shots. We have hit them about a grand total of 700 yards. We're gonna get a little more aggressive here. I'm gonna play over the corner of this tree line onto nine tee box to give ourselves the best straight shot to five green. It 
it's a little left, but I hit it pretty decent. Most importantly, we got it over the trees. Maybe not the last one. We'll see. All right, guys, we're going to take a little pause real quick to ask you a question. Answer in the comments below. What's your favorite club? Kind of your go-to club in the bag. Let me know. The aggressive play panned out. There's the tee box right here. And we were just to the left of it. Thankfully got past that last tree that I wasn't sure if we did. So gives ourselves a pretty open shot for our next one. It's a little blind, but we've got a great angle here. Just got to stay left of this tree that you see right there. Even though we clipped that tree, I think it's pretty good. I'm just gonna walk and talk here for a minute, kind of show you all the line. We had to take it directly over eight green. Pretty much sent it straight over that flag there that you see, way in right there. We did clip that tree that we just passed, just barely. So it didn't hurt us too much. I am just hoping that we stayed short and left of that bunker you see there. Ah, I think I see it off in the distance. It is short and left. That is how we wanted to set ourselves up right here. Looks like it almost plugged. Not getting much roll today. Nope. Guys, we can see home from here. First glimpse of five green. All right guys, if you can see that next fairway, that's the back side of seven fairway. Seven green, way down there. This is kind of the start of where the fairway is, but that is going to be our target. It's going to take a good shot here because there's some trees to the left, so we need to be as far on the right side of that fairway from here that we can. <laughs> we hit that a foot on the right side. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. That's the best swing of the day so far. Lesson learned on the shoes I chose to wear in my last video. Those were not waterproof with holes in them. These are waterproof, thankfully with no holes in them. Much better on a day like today because my socks were soaked and my feet were frozen the other day. My perception was not wrong. We barely made the fairway just on the right side. Stayed right of that tree line right there that would have blocked us out to this green. Thankfully, we've got a straight shot in from here. You can see the pin right about there. Y'all are probably, probably wondering, my lips are not working, I apologize, why I'm using a hybrid. It is because I don't have a three wood in the back. I have an extra wedge instead of that three wood. So that's why we've been using the hybrid. I love this club. I'm gonna say that this hole, now that we've gotten to here in six shots, realistically is probably playing a par 10 today with the conditions and everything. We've got about 380, 390 yards left. We need to get it in three to make that nine, to make that birdie on the cross country challenge. Let's do this. I think I got a little over hyped there. That wasn't the swing we were looking for. That was a little right. Those trees you see, we got them. That was our worst shot today. We have 134 left. I'm gonna have to keep it down below these branches here, but get it up and over that next tree. So I've got the pitching wedge, gonna put it back in my stance just a little bit, make sure I stay down below these branches but then it should give me enough to get up and over the next. We really need to get this up and down. I want to make a nine. That was a really good shot. Considering these conditions, that shot right there, I know I said back there that was the shot of the day. This just set us up for that nine. Let's go make this putt. Walking up here, 
Oh, we're just a little past the hole, but boy, we gave ourselves a look. I wanna make birdie on this cross country hole. I don't know about y'all. That is a legit look, yes sir. I don't wanna build this putt up too much and put too much pressure on myself, but I'm pretty excited about this lead. We making birds. That was fun, now I'm a little dizzy. I thought that would look cool. We just made nine on what I'm classifying as a par 10. Pretty excited about that. In these conditions, honestly, I take that every time. That was a long haul. Now we're out in the middle of the course, about the furthest point on the course. We gotta hike it back. I'm ready for some warm heater, heated seats maybe. We just have like a long way to walk back. Let's get this heat rolling full blast. Seat warmer. Yes, 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 yes. Glad to be in the heated car with the seat warmer on. Fun out there today doing the cross country challenge. Nine strokes on that distance in these conditions, I'm actually really happy with. It was playing a lot more difficult out there than I was anticipating. If you like this kind of content, please comment below any other ideas for challenges or videos in the future that you may like to see. Like and subscribe, and I will try to keep this content rolling. I really appreciate all y'all's support. Thanks for tuning in and watching, and we'll see you when we see ya.